So, hey everybody, hope you're enjoying your lockdown. We're not. Well. <laughs> I mean, we are. It, 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 <laughs> it's just tired of being inside. We spend a lot of days out on the deck, I get to enjoy the sun. But Denver went into this uh, pattern of snow, so now it's like cabin fever setting in. So it's we're just kind of sitting here with two dogs who have too much energy, and we're kind of following along with them. We uh, let it get out there, get hiking, get on a trail, get moving. So, hope everybody's doing good. Uh, hope nobody's having to deal with anything bad. Yeah. It's not a fun time. A lot of bad stuff going on. So, hope this finds you well. Um, so, we're doing a video for new gear that we're having in 2020. Uh, we haven't been able to get out and use it, so can't really sit there and tell you how good it is how great it is how bad it is or anything like that but just to kind of give an update on what gear we're having for 2020 alongside what gear we had last year not a lot changed uh just some new additions that we've been talking about that uh should bring comfort level to us i believe uh but on a quick note before we get into the gear uh one company we're all familiar with, Hyperlite Mountain Gear, uh, actually started manufacturing face masks yeah. during this pandemic that's going on. Uh, we ordered some. We, we didn't uh, really have any material laying around the house that we were going to use. So thank you, Hyperlite Mountain. Uh, these are uh, real nice. Good quality, good construction. Uh, so when we leave the house and go out, we're going to be able to cover our faces. Uh, so th this is uh, real nice, uh, made with the same quality you'd find in most Hyperlite Mountain Gear products. So uh, that was kind of neat. Uh, there's a, a lead time of probably a week or two, maybe, uh, especially as they ramp up production. So uh, if you're looking for a mask and don't have the materials, can't find one, Hyperlite Mountain, uh, they're making masks <laughs> and they're nice. Yeah, and it's nice because you have to go out. Yeah. Uh, and so Definitely have to go out. So uh, staying covered yeah. when you can, social distancing, all that stuff. A pain in the butt, but we got to do it. Uh, one of the products that we're definitely taking for 2020, uh, something that we talked about on the Colorado Trail often, Never being able to find a place to just sit down and relax and kick back. Although I don't think we would have taken no anything. Not at the... an extra pound of weight. But something that we talked about on the Colorado Trail and something that we've talked about before on other hikes. Yes. It just, you, you know, you can sit on a log... You can lean against a tree and sit on the ground. We've leaned against each other on the Colorado Trail right. with our <laughs> using our packs. Um, but you just never get that feeling of just kicking back and relaxing. So it's kind of something we wanted to invest in. And we, we looked at several companies, uh, went to REI, and actually sat in quite a few of the different yeah. chairs that are on the market. So... Uh, Talking to the other YouTubers out there that use chairs, uh, we narrowed it down to this product, the Helinox Chair Zero. Uh, weighs a pound. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Um, nice construction. Sitting at all the different ones in the store, uh, we figured out which one felt comfortable to both of us, which one felt sturdy enough. And, you know, I mean, it really comes down to a lot of different people have talked about this product and use this product. And we, we asked several people what they thought of them. So we're going to give them a, a whirl this year, the Helinox Chair Zero. Um, I think for the, the three or four days that we are looking at being yeah. out, maybe, I don't know, maybe a week, I don't know. This will be fine to carry as far as weight goes. Yeah. I think. I mean, it, this we'll year, see. instead of doing... You know, 500 mile, one hike, one big event. Uh, we're we're going to take multiple multi-day backpacking hikes and, and spend more time not crushing miles, 
you know, not doing these well, 15, 20 mile plus days, but doing less mileage and, and more time in camp, relaxing. Well, we were trying to get 20 a day, and that was difficult. Yeah, um, that's huge. I'm wanting to rest. But we've always been, typically, hikers. We hike yeah. and spend very little time in camp. I think we're wanting to spend more time in camp. Yeah. Just that's going to be different for us. Getting to camp and enjoying where we're at. Yeah, we've not done that. It's yeah. We camp, but we tend to keep going, keep going, yeah, keep going, and then... We just kind of get to the end of the day and crawl in our tent. Or if we have camp, we camp, and then we just keep going and then come back. But we're going to spend more time, I think, at camp, yeah. maybe this time. Well, I, this I year. think the, the chair is going to really do well. Uh, we get, there's multiple colors to choose from, but... Um, yeah, they're only a pound, so, you know, no, we wouldn't have taken them on the CT. No, we wouldn't have It's, taken. you know, cutting too much into our weight goals there, but, uh, you know, for three, four, five-day hikes, yeah. backpacking, uh, we're going to suck up the extra pound of weight and just kind of have some lazy backpacking uh, in the backcountry this year. We're, we're doing a lot of stuff in the Indian Peaks Wilderness. Um, so we just, we want to go and, and, you know, a, a trail that would normally take one or two days, we, we want to turn it into maybe three or four. Yeah, I think we're going to. And just chill out, <laughs> you know, because, I mean, we were just in high gear last year. Well, we typically, when we hike, we do tend to. Goal oriented. We keep going. We keep going until yeah, we do. So this, it'll be different. It's a different. Goal. This this year is more about being out there, relaxing and enjoying the environment, and just kicking back. So you're liable to yes see uh, us on the trail for sure, but you're gonna see a lot more of us in camp. Uh, camping is something that we've always just done out of necessity. Right. Yeah. Stop crawl in the tent, go to sleep, get up the next day and go. This year we want to, you know, in enjoy camp well, for what it is. And it leads to the next. Definitely leads to the next. So another product that we wanted to get this year is actually replacing a product we already had. Uh, we, we've taken this REI tarp with us on several hikes before. Uh, you, you get those you know, afternoon thunderstorms in Colorado, they just seem to come around like clockwork. You know, and if you're on the trail and you're moving, you don't want to just pull out your tent and everything else. You just want to stop and throw up a quick shelter. You know, we, we've always kind of carried a tarp with us, but I mean, this thing is like 23 ounces. It, <laughs> it's heavy. It is heavy. Uh, it, you know, it's a, it's a nylon tent. It, it's your typical square tent. It, it, it's done well, but it, it's heavy. And we really enjoyed cutting the weight of our packs. So uh, the heavy tarp is gone. <laughs> We're going to go with Z packs. Uh, been, I don't know, uh, uh, stalking Z packs lately, waiting for a sale or something to show up in their bargain bin. Um, their tarp is made of the Dyneema, you know, and just it, four and a half, not even five ounces. So you're, you're looking at what, 23 ounces down to four and a half, five ounces. Yeah, That's a huge weight savings. And personally to me, after using Z-Pax tents, um, you just can't beat the material. It's a super it, it just it's a, it doesn't absorb water the, 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 doesn't retain water it just runs off of it uh, you get a nylon tent or a nylon tarp out on the trail it seems to hold water right you know if it's raining or damp or anything like that so the, these dyneema products are just awesome I, I love our duplex it did so great on the colorado trail uh, so getting a small tarp that we can use in, in case of a storm that pops up on us. Well, that is the other thing. We've experienced rain. So to have something you can quickly throw up onto the tent. Yeah. Up. Yeah, toss up. Yeah, it'd be great to... Well, that and 
I, I kind of want to experiment now that we're talking about spending more time in camp. Uh, I want to see what we can do as far as creating, say, a front porch. You know, we're, we're kind of taking all of this gear now and we're starting to, you know, think about, wow, what's it going to be like? You know, I can't wait to get out there on trail and, and make camp somewhere and set up the tent, you know, and the dogs can hang in the tent so they feel safe and secure. But we can, you know, sit in our Helinox chairs, you know, in front of the tent and just that, uh, you know, maybe if it rains or to keep the sun off. I, I want to kind of experiment with using the tarp and, and making a front porch for our duplex. I think that would be kind of cool. Yeah, so, you know, either that or, you know, like, like you said, if you're just hiking along, you want to take a break, take a lunch break. Yeah. If it's raining or you know, there's intense sun or whatever. And it's you like... Just, man, you just want that extra coverage over your head. And you can keep that on the outside mm -hmm. of your pack. I mean, I think right now uh, we have it slated to go in your pack. So probably somewhere on the outside. Yeah. And we use the Gossamer Gear Mariposas, so there's ample pockets on the outside of those packs to just slide it in somewhere. Um, but yeah, if, you, if it starts raining out of the blue, and it does, it does. And you're hiking and it comes over the ridge line, you never see it coming. You want to pull that out real quick yeah. and yeah. just make a shelter. Yeah. So, uh, Z Packs, uh, I think it's a 7x9 tarp. Uh, we didn't want anything bigger than that because we don't need anything bigger than that. We're, we're not using it to sleep under. We just want shelter over our heads for rain or sun. So I, I think that's going to come in really handy. I'm anxious to find out what we can do for a front porch. Uh, just in camp, you know, make just having comfortable situation where we're just kicking back. I think that's sort of the, the aim between the chairs and the tarp to have that... Yeah. Comfort. Just yeah. Have some comfortable days in camp. You know, get up late, get into camp early, you know, a campfire if we can. And maybe that'll make the difference. Maybe that'll make the difference in, sure. in terms of our experience with camping. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then in the mornings, get up yeah. and just relax and not push ourselves out of the tent and, you know, just sit there and relax. Uh, enjoy it, you know. And, you get up and you go when you get up and go. It, it's yeah. going to be more of a relaxed backpacking season, I think. I, I'm so ready for it. Yeah. Tired of sitting in the house. Tired of this COVID pandemic thing. I'm hoping just, things just sort of settle down. Yeah. It, we're ready for normal backpacking life again. Yeah, like everyone is. Yeah. yeah. No kidding. Yeah. So... One more item we're taking on trail with us in 2019. Uh, and of recent news that we just found about, I think will also be a great tool. Um, we're going to use walkie-talkies. Uh, something that, as a couple, I think, I know both of us out of experience after hiking for so many years together, and being on the Colorado Trail last year together, uh, communication, because sometimes we hike at different speeds, and I'll get way out in front of her, or, or there was times you'd be out in front of me, and you would be like, oh, I really want to take this picture of you right now. I know you've done that to me a thousand times. I wish I could have gotten a hold of you. I tried uh, whistling, but... Yeah. Never. <laughs> like I would hear it anyway, right? Uh, yeah. You, you'd have to use a jackhammer next to my head for me to hear it. Um, but th you know, the, these would be great. I mean, you can't use your phone out there, right. and our phones are generally buried in our bags anyway. I mean, if you don't need them, you don't need them. So, uh, Rocky Talkie, it like like it sounds, Rocky Talkie. A uh, new company, uh, relatively to us anyway, uh, they're here in Denver, and they make these great little walkie-talkies, um, really lightweight, uh, I think I wrote it down here, they're, they're like five, six ounces, um, 
rechargeable batteries come with a carabiner uh, and some other ways to secure them to you. Uh, these guys are rock climbers, <laughs> it looked like. And, you know, it, it seems like communication is paramount. You know, we've never really done that. So, but I, I can see, mm -hmm. you know, if you have somebody way up on, ahead of you and climbing, uh, you'd want to contact them. So, uh, we haven't been able to really get outside of the city with these. We, we went up to a state park nearby and played around with them uh, up to a mile range and they work great. But it was also in an urban environment so there's likely to be some feedback and but they uh, worked really they worked well. great they did yeah so, so i can't wait to get out on the trail and really test these out because uh, they proclaim that you know they have some really really good miles on them uh, distance wise as far as communication goes and that's not something that we're necessarily worried about. I don't think we've ever been more than say a hundred yards apart. Yeah, we never. Yeah, but it, and, and that's times. really stretching it too. But there's times uh, I'll be in front of you, and I know you've told me a thousand times. I wish I could have stopped you. I wanted to get a picture. Right. Yeah. Or I, there was a couple of times in the Colorado Trail you saw a bear and I didn't. <laughs> And you could have just said, hey, I just saw a bear, you yeah. know, and I, I was goofing off behind you somewhere, probably doing the video or something. But, I think so. Uh, yeah. I, I think these are really going to come in handy. Yeah, me too. Um, I'm anxious to use these. Uh, we really, really want to support small businesses, mm -hmm. especially in light of what our country's going through, uh, and local businesses if we can. Right. Uh, you know, it, it, it's just important to us that we do that and, and give back to the community like the community gives back to us all the time. So uh, I can't wait to try these. Uh, it's, it's something we've always wanted and just never really kind of put a thought into it because the, these are built tough. <laughs> these have a, a really rugged covering on them. So they're, they're not your standard uh, run to Walmart or Target or something and just pick up some walkie-talkies. These are actually built for the outdoors. They, they seem like they're going to be able to take a beating and put up with the weather. So we're anxious to use them. Um, and I say of recent news, um, we got accepted into the Colorado Trail Adopter Program. Um, so we're going to be doing trail work this year. And we've adopted a, a section of trail, a, a piece of a section. And I think these will be really mm -hmm. handy in that situation. Because we'll be able to, you know, if we're apart or if I need something or right. you need something, you can say, hey, can you know, yeah, can bring me something. Right. So I, I, I'm thinking these are going to come mm -hmm. in really handy uh, in respects to that as well. So I can't wait to get out there yeah. and use these. These are... Uh, I mean, the, the Chair Zero is awesome. Yeah. Can't wait to use that. Uh, the tarp is something we've always, well, we've had one, but we wanted to lighten the load. Uh, but I kind of like gadgets. <laughs> <laughs> and I think these are going to be fun to use. Yeah. Well, so. Having the communication, like you said, even if I'm in camp, I don't want to go and you want to explore a little bit. And I'm, I'm staying, you know, staying back mm -hmm. and get a hold of you or vice versa. Yeah. Well, how many times have you just sat in camp and yeah. wanted to read or just relax? And I'm like, I my legs still have energy, and I just start walking. Right. Yeah, it's a great way to keep in contact. So, yeah, that and uh, doing a bear bag hang, uh, getting water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I I know I've put the bear bag up before, and you wanted something out of it before I did. Uh oh. And it was like, okay, well, I'll go all the way back. You know, you could have just said, hey, before you do that. Yeah. So, uh, Rocky Talky, looking forward to putting these through the motions. Uh, they're lightweight. Yeah. <laughs> and they feel nice and rugged. So, I'm, I'm anxious to get these on trail and really work with them. Um, yeah, those are the items new to us for 2019. All luxury type things. 2019. 20, 20. How about 20? Okay. All luxury items. Definitely all luxury items. Yeah. And, you know, I don't see any reason to replace any of our gear. It all works well. Oh, God. I don't want to. I like my pack. I like the tent. The quilt. Oh. The, quilt the pad. Amazing. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, we, we dialed in our gear really well last year, yeah, and we like it. So these are just additional items that we've talked about before. Um, so, yeah, we're anxious to get out on trail. Uh, and, I don't know. Hopefully a couple months. How about thank you, Denver Beer Company? <laughs> A uh, nice cold day here in Colorado. We're in the 20s. It's, it's been snowing snow all day. Uh, so uh, kicking back with a couple of Denver Beer Company's craft beers and enjoying ourselves. So uh, again, hope this finds everybody well. Hope you're safe. Hope nobody's having to go through anything really tough because it, it is tough out there. Yeah. I hate turning on the news. It's just there's so much wrong so you like to hear something good, you know. Yeah. So, other than that, if you got anything, just ready to go. A couple months, hopefully. A couple of months. Three huh? months. Huh. Yeah. We'll see. Well, the snowpack in the area that we want to go hiking in is above average. So, it'll be... So, we might have to July go... August. <laughs> it August. Might, might be late July. Oh, yeah, late so, July for sure, I would think. Um, Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. All right. You guys take care. Uh, hopefully we'll see you out on the trail.